Hi, this is Dara and welcome to my video on how I set up Notion. Um, if you haven't seen this from the beginning, this is video number four, I encourage you to go back and see it from the beginning. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in and start working on the task. So I'm going to, so so far I've been creating inline, I've been creating pages and creating inline um, tables on those pages, but for my task stream, it's going to be a page itself. I don't need it to be in line. It's going to be its own kind of, you know, thing. So I'm going to create table again, but this time I'm going to create a full page table, right? And you see it lives under here as well, but this time I'm straight in the table. I don't have that other page on top. So I'm going to call this task. All right. So Let's think about the properties we want for the task. So I'm going to open up a task and proposal for what I say my projects were. Let's say it's um, ha ha ha. See, that's what happens when you make up projects. Um, let's say this is the proposal for Acme. All right, let's open this up. I'm going to just create it as a page so that I can get in here easily. Okay, so for tasks, there's several things that I want my task to be able to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, paste in my thoughts around what it's going to do just to save time. So I want it to be tied to a project. I want it to have a due date, a worked on date. That's going to be very important. Um, the difference is so the due date tells me when it's due. Of course, it has some basic calendar functionality, so I can have a start and end date. So I could say, like, for instance, this project is due Friday. I'm going to start Monday, and so then you've got Monday through Friday. But the problem is that I don't actually work that way. I don't actually, like, work on a project every day. I have too many projects that I got. I have to do context switching and move things back and forth. And then, of course, there's my personal versus work life. In my work life, I've got things that I've got to do. And then, you know, um, so I use this worked on date. So this is the day that I say when I'm planning, this is when I plan to work on this activity, right? So maybe it's due Friday, but I'm going to work on this on Tuesday. And then this day is the day that I change. So come Tuesday, if my priority swapped, I'll say, oh, nope, I can't work on it. I got to push this to another day. Or maybe I worked on it, but I didn't finish it. So I'm going to push it again to another day. I'm going to have the option to tie it to a goal for goal tracking. Um, I don't actually do, I'm not going to do quarter goals. Um, I used to do this thing where I would take my annual goals, I would break them down by quarter, and then I would do my monthly goals. But I think with the table, I'm going to end up doing my um, quarter goals, but putting them straight into the month versus having that abstraction of, of month and, and quarter. So I'm going to say the month, uh, typos. I'm going to want to tie it to the journal. So remember the journal, I said the day that I worked, if I, this is the work on day. So if I worked on it on Tuesday, I want to mark that I did work on it on Tuesday, whether it gets finished or not. If there's any related notes, I'm also going to tie that. And uh, what's missing here is status, task status. All right. So now I can't build out these two pieces yet. So let's move this to the bottom because I haven't built those tables. Um, but we have the project table and we have the goals table. So let's go ahead and, and work that out. So first I'm going to start with my due date and make this a date field. And you can configure the date field so I can say like, um, how I want it to be formatted and I just do month, day, year, but there are other formats that you can do. If you want it to show the time, if you want to show the time zone, you can do those as well. I'm going to make this the worked on date. And again, that's date. Um, I'm going to come back and do the database tie. So let's say, You know, because I'm tying it to the goal, I don't, I don't need this month. I might pull that from the goal itself. 
Hmm. Maybe it's, I'm trying to tie it to the month table, which I don't have yet. Remember I said I haven't started the, the how I plan it yet, so I don't know what my plan is going to look like, but I think that there's going to be a month table. Well, we know there's going to be a month table because I said on the home page here that I wanted to look at monthly goals. So and I do have a monthly goals table in my current setup. I just haven't tied it to anything. All right. So get back in here. Oops. All right. Um, so we're going to come back to the month table. Let's go ahead and do the status. And this is going to be a select field. And then this is where things get interesting. So now that I've got my base, I've got the due date, I've got the work done date. Let's just strike through to keep track. Strike. So later when I come back and work on these, I'll come back to this Acme uh, card since this is the one that I'm, I'm saying what I want to do and I'll make sure that I've built these out. All right, so let's go the, do the goals and do the projects. So to create a relationship, um, you just go in here and to your options, but you go down to advanced and you're going to do relation. And you're going to select the database it's related to. So this is related to my annual goals. Great relationship. And so um, I don't usually track client work. So let's say this is part of, it's an innovation challenge. This particular project is more innovative. So I'm going to track this towards my innovation goals. Now you see it's innovation. And if I click on this, um, I can go into that innovation record. And you see now there's this relationship here that's proposal task for Acme, right? It's completely tied together now. Let's add the, um, what did I say I was going to add? Oh, project. Relationship. Projects. And sometimes if it's not there, if you click again, it comes back. I think it's kind of odd. Um, all right, so now I'm going to link it to Acme. And it should be said, I can I can link this to multiple things. And in later things, you're going to see where I do link stuff to multiple types of entities, like definitely in a journal. But for goals and projects, it's just going to be, or maybe the goal is, maybe there are multiple goals attached to this. I don't know. But <clears throat> um, let's say this is due Friday, and I'm going to work on this on Tuesday. Okay. And... Um, it's not started, so I'm gonna leave it empty. Let's go ahead and put in the different statuses I'd have. So I'd have in progress. Let's do this as multi-select so I can type them all. I don't, yeah, it's demo. Complete. I'm not going to use demo. Well, I already typed it in, but. All right. Let me change this back to select type. I'm going to delete demo. That's necessary in um, certain projects, but I'm not, I, I don't need that here. All right. So. Strike that, strike that. All right, so now you see how that is. If I come back to my task table, then you'll see here goals and projects are showing up in my task table. Okay. Um, I will add a filter here, which is that once a task is complete, I don't want it to show up anymore. So status is, um, is not complete, right? Because these, these 
this stream is just going to keep going and keep going and keep going. I'm just keep adding stuff to it all the time. Um, but I don't want it to show up until um, or after it's, it's done because otherwise this is going to get crazy out of control. I'm going to change this work on day to today so that when I do the, the home page, you'll see this show up, right? Um, so that's it for creating tasks. If I come back over here to projects and I come to my project view, you can see like, um, let's just get look at the project table itself. All right, so you'll see that I've got this proposal listed here for this project, okay? And if I come to goals, then I can see here in my goals, there is that relationship. And I don't have to use this name, I can just say that this is task. I don't have to, so you can rename it, right? Especially if you're trying to save space in your, in your workspace. Um, let's put this as, as task as well. Okay, and I can move these around, right? All right, so that's the video on creating the task stream. In the next video, we're gonna do the calendar. So um, come back for that. I'll talk to you next time.